said so far, which is absolutely zilch, <laughs> delete. It's a night painting. It was an incredible moonlight night oh. at Broughton Mills. These paintings really reflect the awfulness of that particular period in our history. Which period was that? When you have a situation where the curator of one of the most fantastic archaeological and religious sites could be beheaded, I, mean, I think it was 78, and uh, he refused to cooperate with the revolutionaries and they just cut his head off in front of his family. Not, not a particularly pleasant subject. Out in the, the grounds of the villa where we were staying in Provence were some olive trees which many, many years ago uh, their roots had burnt away seemingly but were now being resurrected and because of the sculptural shape Of, of these burnt burnt roots, they made a, a, an inter interesting composition. And yet, all the time I was doing it, I felt a sort of feeling of guilt that I was using something so terrible for something that I wanted to reflect. An arrangement of colours and tones and textures and emotions and pleasures. And at the same time, because of the comparative complexity of some of the shapes, I was starting to see other forms in the context of the canvas. Sticky, raw umber, cadmium reds creeping in, yellow ochres, a lot of yellow ochre. Or on the left hand side, I see a, a, a landscape of smaller houses being crushed by like a tower block. That it does become a little pretentious and trying to find significance which has a Van Gogh factor. When, we, when, we, when you go, go to an exhibition and you see a painting like this in the sense that it's paint on canvas or anthracite on can canvas that that you start to query what the hell, what, what am I doing putting these pigments onto a piece of Glued Hessian. I, uh, I, 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 I agree with you in so far as you can take an academic approach to a piece of material, 
I suppose you could apply a sort of analytical, what am I looking at? Well, uh, I used to ask my pupils, what are you looking at? And they'd, they'd say, you know, a, a rocket, a bus, a boot, a Bedouin camp. And I said, no, what are you really looking at? Because I, what I wanted them to say was, I'm looking at four pieces of wood of a certain size, which interlock together, a piece of canvas, staple gun, and then I suppose you get on to, I'm also looking at an image which I interpret as being a Chinese potter's wheel. <laughs>